all right guys so today um on this video we're gonna be hanging this mercury 200 l on this x3 clz sylvan um and i'll kind of go through the process of how we uh hang it on there and uh uh, how we rig up those motors and give you an oversight on that um, <clears throat> but what we're doing right now is uh, we're just kind of uh, prepping some stuff so we had to drill out some of these holes uh, to mount the motor on and then um, just getting the motor ready to get hanging so I'll come back whenever we get the motor hanging and I'll show you how we mount it on there At least we have one for hammering. I didn't record too much of that but basically what we did was um, pick the motor up on a cherry picker and then kind of lined it up and then you just put the bolts through and um, they got a washer on each side and then nut and then we uh, torqued them down to spec and then so so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run all the rigging stuff hook it all up and then we're gonna go fill it up and test it. So in order to rig one of these up, um, here's kind of everything we have to do. Uh, we'll start over here with all the controls and stuff. So um, we gotta hook up our throttle and shift cable. I'll show you how to um, determine which one is which. Uh, now, if this is a, a DTS motor, digital throttle shift, you will not have these two cables. Uh, it uh, it shifts straight through this uh, main harness, which is down here. So it sends a signal through one of the pins on here, and it'll uh, digitally shift it and give it throttle that way. Um, or you can order it this way, and uh, it has a mechanical. And the other things we need to do, we got, of course, our battery cables. So that's going to hook up up in here. That gives power to the starter. Um, and then we have our clean power harness. And what this clean power harness is doing is giving the motor a direct 12 volt source. So it's not going through um, any other thing. It's giving the ECM a straight 12 volt source. So it's running from the battery straight into the ECM um, to give it a clean power source that's why they call it clean power now they do send a clean power harness with the motor itself um, so if you know you're doing one of these yourselves you don't uh, you, you know it comes with one um, but this boat already has uh, has one ran so we think we don't have to worry about that 
Um, but after we get everything hooked up in there, you know, uh, usually we'll wait on the fuel line here too. That's the last thing. But um, after we get everything hooked up, uh, we gotta put it through this grommet here. Uh, and it comes with two different ones, depending on if you're using uh, the throttle and shift cables or if it's a DTS one. So they got two different ones. And then they got your, your collar here, which basically slides up there and you use the bolts to lock it in. And it allows you to screw in the rigging tube here. And I'll show you that process too. Um, but after that, uh, last thing to do is put this little side panel on here which goes up up in here I might have it on backwards so it, it goes up in here kind of get the idea there and then there's a pin that uh, goes through this front little hole right there and locks it in so I'm gonna set you guys up and uh, I'll start rigging it all right so first thing we're going to do is get everything in this rigging tube now there's kind of a method behind this it's not it's more than just uh shoving all the stuff down into there um so what i'm kind of going to do here is i'm going to take this uh this grommet um and i'm going to kind of look and see where everything goes and i'm going to try and line everything up in the tube with how it's gonna go into the motor doesn't really make sense but um, I'll, I'll try my best to show you what I'm talking about um, but you know I uh, I don't want everything to be all twisted up to where I'm fighting it when I'm putting this grommet on or the collar on so uh, we're gonna try and make everything just do a straight shot and in the air and not twist up um, now with that being said like I said we're gonna put everything into this rigging tube first and the first thing we want to put in there is gonna be this remote control harness because um, it's the biggest if you get everything else in there you're gonna have a hard time getting in there with everything else so we're just gonna run this through So at the same time, I'm trying to make sure everything uh, back under the transom here is also not all tangled together and intertwining and stuff. Um, so that way we're not having any problems in the future. Uh, but now we are going to put the throttle and shift cable down through here. So we'll get those. probably gonna end up cutting some of this rigging tube off too um, make sure it fits right so after throttle and shift cable we will do battery cables in there. Next we're going to do our clean power. It's going to be the same as everything else. Okay, so I just took everything back out and um, I cut off the end of this rigging tube to where I kind of think it's going to be want to be at so um, that will give us some more room to work with so I got everything pulled back through now and now before I forget 
we want to put this this collar on here I don't I don't do that before I rig it then we're gonna have to take everything right back off so like I said start with the biggest Okay, so what I just did there was run the uh, power harness and the clean power, which is um, up underneath this harness, but I ran it um, and uh, tucked the cables all in nice. They actually have a clip right down in here that uh, they feed into. Okay, so now we're going to do these uh, throttle and shift cables. Um, <clears throat> in order to determine which one is which, uh, I'm gonna take these I'm gonna hold them up and make sure these two lines right or these two uh, you know coupling things are um, in line and this longer one here that is gonna be your throttle cable this other one's gonna be the shift now the other way to determine that is if you have you know you set these up somewhere and then you have someone uh, move the, the shifter back and forth and then whichever one's moving um, is your shift cable. So that's probably the best way to go about it. Um, so now I'm just going to start working on these. The first one we're going to want to do is um, our throttle cable because it's down here on the bottom. Got the throttle and shift cable adjusted and hooked up. Um, next thing we're doing here, we're gonna work on these battery cables. Um, now on these uh, 175 through, I believe the 300s, um, <clears throat> they have these little little fishing line things down here um, that you hook each one of the battery cables to, and then kind of just pull it up through to the to the terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I kind of skipped ahead a little bit, um, but I got the battery cables all hooked up. They're all ran uh, nice and neat. So last thing we got to do is hook up the fuel line. Um, got to run it through the uh, through the rigging tube first, but um, yeah, we'll get that connected, and then it's going to be time to put this on, and I'll kind of show a process of that. guys so I am currently on the way to the boat ramp and we're gonna go run this uh, this tri-tune here and we're gonna see how it does um, we're gonna kind of be looking for a few things uh, we're gonna see if it's running you know in the right rpm range um, to see if we have the right pitch prop on it uh, we've done a few of these so we kind of know what to expect but uh, while we're doing that 
we're just gonna see what it runs. Um, you see top speed, stuff like that, make sure everything works on it. Um, and in the meantime, we gotta switch the trailers out anyway, so it gives us a good, a good ground to kind of go on and test this boat out. But uh, I don't know if I'll be talking much during the boat ride, um, but I'll kind of try and capture uh, what it runs and kind of show you what it does. So I'll see y'all at the boat ramp.